Good morning guys, in today's video packed with information guys, it's a cool video. Yes, we are going to take a look at the Bitcoin price, I'm going to take some charts and we're going to show you what is happening at the moment. I'm even going to look into the stars for you guys because the stars are telling us what is going to happen because they have shown us a few times in the past what would happen and maybe they are right at the moment as well. Besides the price guys, I'm going to show you how many people are in profit that are now invested in Bitcoin because we can calculate this i'm going to show how much volume is already created by boomers at the moment very interesting these boomers need to buy the boomer shirt also showing you a beautiful chart i found on twitter about if we are in the accumulation or the distribution phase very interesting chart take a look at it yes also talking about the akon crypto city that is now starting to build with a six billion us dollar building contract wow amazing akon but if you see this video give me a call or a text akon and to end the video guys, I'm going to share with you in this video who lost the 5.2 million US dollar worth of Ethereum. Enjoy this video guys. I just received this package guys. How cool. Look, the Bitcoin family is sending out packages. Born to be free. Fifteen years. Born to be free. Ten years. We're going to go ahead. Welcome to my office. Let's take a small jump into my office, guys. Yes, my office again on my own beach, just in front of my house. But guys, I promise to you. And I will go to another beautiful location on the island tomorrow. You just need to help me to decide again what to do. Do you want me to go to another beautiful beach? Do you want me to visit some kind of beautiful place like a temple or something else in culture? Or guys, do you want me to go to into the jungle or a waterfall? Just comment below and let me know where you want me to record my video tomorrow do you like my new bitcoin shirt born to be free guys yes exactly we are born to be free we are not born to be in lockdown so that is why i had this shirt created born to be free and of course the bitcoin symbol yes that one stands for me for freedom let's talk about the bitcoin price guys because that is what you love to hear and also what i like to talk about yesterday i watched uh, steve's video from the crypto q university i liked his video again because he loves to zoom out and when he zoomed out to this chart from the beginning of bitcoin till the moment we are now and we got rid of all these candles and replaced the candles by this beautiful thin line that you could see going upwards and then he took this trend line from the Bitcoin $16 price up to today. And you can see how Bitcoin beautifully followed this upward trend line for 11 years now. We are again finding support on this trend line. And as you can see from the latest high till this moment, we are forming a triangle um, with this trend line. So he is also very confident that in the next 13 days, there will be a huge move in Bitcoin. If we take a look at other charts I shared with you guys in the last week, we know for sure that we have seen many triangles and pennants all over the charts, all over Twitter, all over YouTube, and they all lead to a very excitement moment that is going to come in the next couple of days, up to two weeks, guys. Which would be crazy because if it would be on the 1st of July, that would be the birthday of my mother in heaven. So maybe my mother is giving me this strange, beautiful sign out of heaven that on the 1st of July, Bitcoin will explode and Bitcoin will close its monthly candle of June above 9,300, which will be a huge move as you can see on this chart, we haven't been able to close a monthly candle above this line for many months. We did open the candle now above it. And if we are able to close the candle above it, that is a very bullish sign for the bull run, guys. I yesterday did a tweet, it was uh, liked a lot of times. Um, I tweeted, guys, if you just zoom out far enough from the Bitcoin chart, you can see the Bitcoin bull run already started 11 years ago. 
because since 11 years ago guys we have been making higher lows and higher highs all up to the bull run in 2017 now we are forming another higher low guys the question is how high will the next higher high be i think the next higher high will be around this 100,000 us dollar mark and yes i think this will happen in the next two years will it be easy no it is not going to be easy because if you look at this chart you can see we have been trying to break 10,500 resistance many times the first time we tried to break it you can see we tried it for two weeks and after two weeks we saw a dump the second time we tried to break it we took three weeks and in these three weeks we didn't succeed breaking it and again we saw a dump this time guys is different we have already been fighting this 10.5k resistance for six weeks in a row without a dump this is showing a lot of strength from the bulls we keep knocking on the moon's door knock knock knocking on the moon's door <laughs> yeah something like this you know because we try to break it every time again and now six weeks without any pullback so or the bears will give up in the next two weeks 13 days and we will break the 10.5k or the bears will take over and will take us to around the bottom of our channel and the channel we can see on this chart the channel the bottom is still around 8000 and please understand what i'm saying even if we go to 8100 i am not freaking out again i am zooming out i am seeing then that this will be the bottom of the channel and this this bottom of the channel will probably take us up again to the top of the channel where we again try to attack it but i'm not so sure that we will see this bottom because six weeks in a row we have been knocking this moon's door maybe guys this is just another beautiful accumulation phase that will lead to a huge price jump and then of course it will again lead to a distribution phase where we will see a price drop and then maybe we could correct again back to this 10k level and then see if this 10k level after having been resistance for so many years then becomes support and if not we can still fall down to 8k oh man even to 7k if it comes to the indicator i shared in yesterday's video like i said in yesterday's video this indicator has been a very strong indicator it is an indicator that has a lot of data collected into it and this indicator showed us that it is not very likely we can fall below 7k then we would break this ma and we haven't done this any time before in a bull run i just mentioned guys the accumulation phase yes i learned this yesterday because i saw this tweet by a guy called the coin master on twitter um, i really liked his tweet i really like the content of the tweet that's why i'm sharing it in my video so if you have interesting things to tell about the charts always tag me in your tweet guys i would love to talk about it if i like it even if i don't like it i would talk about it because i always give my honest opinion but i really like the chart that he shared so let's take this chart now and up is the chart <laughs> sometimes i do sometimes i do maybe i need to find a new sound that i will use all the time uh, <laughs> no, that will make it boring i don't want to be boring i just want to be creative you can see red and you can see green areas on the chart above and if you look to the bottom two indicators you can see that every time when the funding rate is negative or slightly positive and the spread is negative this is a sign that we are in an accumulation phase a green phase the phase where people are buying bitcoins we have now been in this phase since march already of this year check the chart you see the green part march till now look to the bottom of the chart there you see that the bars are negative or slightly positive and even the spread is negative and then if you pay more attention to the, char to the chart you can see the red parts that are marked on the chart then when you look down to the bottom of the chart you will see that the spread and that the funding rate will be positive 
So every time that the funding rate switches to positive and that the spread switches to positive, we can see a distribution phase, which means the price will go down again at these moments. If we look to the left on the chart, we can clearly see that the numbers showed exactly the phases we were in and also the movements that Bitcoin made. So very interesting chart. I'm going to keep an eye on it. I'm going to uh, update you on my findings on this chart. Thank you to the Bitcoin master for sharing it and tagging me below this chart. Hopefully you like my explanation of the chart. If not, just punish me by leaving a comment below the video. And while you leave the comment guys, still give the thumbs up, uh, subscribe to my channel. So to be clear, after an accumulation phase, we first get a peak upwards. And then when we have this peak upwards, then we will see a change in the funding rate and the spread. And if then the funding rate and the spread are turning positive, then be aware because then we can see a dip in the price. So then sell your Bitcoins and buy them back cheap if you're in for the trading. If you just are in it with the biggest part like me for the hodling, then hodl your big part. Don't trade with your big part. Only trade with that part you can afford to lose. A uh, very fun fact, guys, while I walk slowly back into the sun. <laughs> the numbers show us that 78.9% of the Bitcoin wallets are still profitable. How did he calculate it? That's the beauty of the transparency of the blockchain uh, behind Bitcoin, because they can see exactly on which dates Bitcoins were sent to a wallet. So you can see that the Bitcoin is sent to a wallet on a certain day. You take the price on that certain day so you know what the average buy of the Bitcoin would have been. And then you look and compare it to uh, the price at the moment. And then you can still calculate if the amount of Bitcoins that are in a wallet, because maybe in this wallet are 10 Bitcoins, one Bitcoin bought at 3K, one Bitcoin bought at 4K, one Bitcoin bought at 10K. So the average buying price of these Bitcoins in this wallet, this one is still in profit and that's a beautiful sign that like almost 80 percent of all the bitcoin holders are in profit and to be also honest another fun fact this is completely different at xrp at xrp guys the average investor in xrp is now down with 86 percent so the average investor in xrp has a 86 percent loss at the moment so a little bit different than the Bitcoin, where the biggest part of the people are just in profit. The biggest part that invested in XRP are now hugely in losses. And since we are talking percentages, let's take another beautiful fact for you guys. Yes, I'm sweating again. It's bloody hot. We had a lot of rain yesterday, so maybe the waterfalls are full. And then maybe tomorrow would be a nice place to go to the waterfall. But another fun fact, because we all know that the youth has the future. You know, the, ki the kids between 90, 18 years and like 35. That is the main focus, I think, in crypto marketing. Why are we doing this? Because this chart is showing us that the biggest part of the money is not at the youth. It is at the boomers. Not talking about boomers, by the way check the store not only this shirt is really cool but i have a really cool shirt for you boomers out there it states boomers and then it states mind in and then you can customize the date you were born so you have this boomer shirt with the b of bitcoin mind in your birthday um, it's a really cool shirt it's customizable and it's also about 15 euros so if you are a young guy you want to give it as a present to your boomer daddy then buy it for your father for Father's Day. And this, what I tell you now, guys, it is not like that I do it like this. No, it is facts. Because there was one broker that came out with these numbers and the broker is called River Financials. And he came out with the numbers that the biggest part of the people that invested in Bitcoin at his office were the boomers. To be exact, 77% of the people that bought Bitcoin at his investment company were from the boomer age. So if you look at this chart, this chart exactly shows that yes, maybe the young people have the future, but yes, indeed, the older ones, they have the cash. You can see the age of like 60, around 60 years, they in average have the most cash to spend. 
Um, even up to like 70 years, they have a lot of cash to spend. And if you look to the bottom of the chart, you can see all the younger, younger guys that they didn't build up any capital, so they have less to spend. They will probably start to make money in the next couple of years. And then when they make money, they are going to diversify their investments into Bitcoin. So then they already are in this um, system. But if you want to have mass volume into the market at the moment, then I think a focus on the boomers is not that bad because they have an average of almost 1 million US dollar in capital. So let's focus on them a little bit. Let's get a few boomers into Bitcoin. You know, that's why I want you guys to buy these boomer shirts and give them to all the boomer people for their birthday. Uh, they will like it and you will see a smile on their face. And at the same time, you are spreading the word of Bitcoin, guys. How beautiful is this? Oh, guys, it is really hot. But I still have some short news. Akon City in Senegal. Akon, the singer, is creating a cryptocurrency city in Senegal. And now these plans are not plans anymore. They are becoming concrete because he just signed a six billion US dollar construction contract. The building of the city is going to start now. The first phase is going to end in 2023. The second phase in 2029. But guys, in 2023, the city will already have a mall, it will have residences, it will have a school, it will have a police station, it will have a waste facility, it will even have a solar plant inside its city. This is a huge plan. I think uh, we have been talking about Africa the last couple of weeks more and more in my videos because Africa could be the first huge mass adoption market of Bitcoin. Numbers are showing the usage of Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies are growing tremendously at the moment in Africa. And they really need this kind of currencies because I think Africa is one of the countries where the biggest part of the people just doesn't have access to the banking system. They need to have access to the monetary system through a telephone because everybody owns a phone and they are now experiencing the first really big mass built cryptocurrency city in Senegal. I am looking forward to see the result. I'm looking forward to visit it with my family because Africa is still one of the bucket list items on our list. We want to go to Africa and see how people are living there, taste their beautiful food and help them in this mass adoption of crypto. So Akon, if you still have a few billion dollars left, don't forget to think about us. Yes, Africa is important. Asia is also still important. We are building this small crypto city here in Kopangan. It's called houseofdao.io. So man, if you have a little bit more left, invest a little bit in this beautiful project, House of Dao, here in Thailand. Or if you want to do it in Europe, then take a look at Blockchain Valley because they are going to build this beautiful smart blockchain city as well in Bulgaria near Sofia, blockchainvalley.com. Yes, this will be the same as your building now in Senegal. The ones in Bulgaria and Copenhagen here, they are more focused on supporting all these blockchain projects and providing them of a beautiful environment to live and work and spend time with same-minded people to create this beautiful synergy to create projects that will change the world. So Akon, check blockchainvalley.com and houseofdao.io. I'm an ambassador for both of them and I know for sure with your help, completely going to succeed. And to end it in your style, they are completely going to succeed ASAP. Yeah, you know, you and me. <laughs> I'm a bad rapper, fuck. Yes, also an update about Ethereum and the 5.2 million fees that have been sent out. We still don't know the reason, but we know who is losing the 5.2 million US dollar worth of Ethereum. It is a small exchange in Korea. The exchange is named Good Cycle. Um, this is a very small exchange. Nobody knows a lot about them, but we can see that the addresses they use are the addresses that have lost this 5.2 million dollars in fee now in Ethereum. It can still be this blackmail uh, situation, you know, where these blackmailers tell the exchange, hey, if you don't give me a million, we will liquidate the whole um, Ethereum wallet on your exchange and they keep doing it. I don't know. It's strange that now we know that this exchange is losing this money, that they are not stepping forward to tell what is happening or even to claim these fees back. 
which makes this investigator think that this small exchange good cycle maybe it's a small exchange used for a Ponzi scheme and now they cannot come forward because if they would come forward we would know who the owners of this exchange and the Ponzi scheme are and you know then they would lose all of their money so probably they have a lot of bitcoins and all the other currencies in this exchange as well and they don't care about losing the 10 million US dollar worth of Ethereum in their wallet I don't know it's all guessing at the moment but let's keep track of this beautiful Ethereum drama and what I totally forgot guys to mention yes if we look at the Bitcoin price, maybe it will all depend on the stars because Mercurius is on the retrograde phase. What is the retrograde phase? What is Mercurius? Yeah, Mercurius is one of these planets up there in the sky. But this chart shows us every time we went in this Mercurius retrograde, retrograde phase, we saw a huge movement in Bitcoin. If we zoom into the chart and we look to the last three huge price dips we saw in Bitcoin they will all in this Mercurius planet face check it the red vertical lines this is exactly when the Mercurius retrograde phase is and in the last three times I need to say we saw this Bitcoin drop if we zoom out to the chart we can also look to the left on the chart and we can see that the same Mercurius beautiful retrograde phase also led up to huge bull runs if you analyze this you can see that if we are in a bull run this mercurius planet is telling us when we will have the huge in-between spikes in this bull run when we go up a little bit and correct you know then this planet is telling us okay now you need to buy because we go up in the bull run if it comes to the bearish time then this planet is going to tell us every time when the red line is popping up we will see another dip so in the bull run the line pops up we will see a run in the bearish time when we see the vertical red line we will see a dip which of course leads to the question are we now in the bull run yes or no maybe the next red line is going to show us because if we are in the bull run like i said in the video yesterday this entering of the mercurius retrograde now means we will see a huge run up instead of a dip now i covered like these now i covered bitcoin from every angle in the world even from the stars or the moon where we should go so please guys give this video a thumbs up subscribe to the channel share it and at the end leave a comment yes also click the notif notification bell so you will be notified on every new video that was it for today guys remember you need to zoom out in crypto you need to zoom in in life enjoy every single minute of the day because that is exactly what makes life worth living and yes we also have a t-shirt in the store with the text zoom out on crypto zoom in on life <laughs> and that was really the end enjoy your days guys and see you tomorrow again and please let me know where you want me to go tomorrow Bye. How good is good to you know? Can we turn it around?